What's up, y'all? My name is Barbara Atta. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I decided to create this blue holiday look for you guys, featuring the Bretman Rock by ColourPop collaboration. And in addition to that collaboration, I decided to try a bunch of new products. I haven't been out for a while, but I haven't had the time to like pick them up, or I'm just deciding. I'm like, you know what? Let me try this product out. You know. So if you like what you see, please be sure to continue watching and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I got a bunch of new shit some new collaboration products some new products that i have it's not new products but they've been for a while but i just haven't had the time to buy or try them so for my brows i got the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade granite because i like black brows and yeah so hopefully this goes a lot i've never used a, uh, a brow pomade before so hopefully this goes well i don't know Maybe I should watch like a tutorial to see. Is this brush even clean? No. Oh. Everybody in my family play basketball except me. And you could clearly tell it's other. So. I really hope this goes well. I really do because. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to outline my brow with the dip brow pomade. And then I'm gonna fill it in with my usual NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black. Do I like this? A filled, a filled brow versus unfilled. Hmm. So to conceal my brows, I'm gonna be using not that shade. I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 48. This is also a new product for me. I waited a long time to get it. Um, I mean, I didn't wait a long time. I just decided to get it after it being out for so long and hearing such great reviews. So, yeah. Yeah, so school has been... Eh. I'm not the biggest fan. Cause like, I think I'm like, since it's like getting close to, I'm just ready to go home basically. I'm just ready to go home, watch my baby brother play basketball, cook in a kitchen that has some space. Yeah, all that fun stuff. So I don't even know. Do I want to continue with law school? I don't know. Okay. And then for over my brows, I'm going to be using the shade C13 from Makeup Revolutions um, Full Coverage Conceal and Define Concealer. That brow is polished. I'm not using a new foundation. I'm using my usual um, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Coco. Um, I bought the ColourPop foundation in the shade Deep 185, I mean Deep Dark 185, never again. Um, completely wrong shade, even though I matched with my regular shade of Fenty. I don't know what happened, but yeah. So I'm going to be creating a holiday makeup look. A blue holiday makeup. Blue is like my favorite color. I feel like... The last video I did had a blue eye, had one blue eye. The video before that, no it didn't, but my favorite look so far have been with blue eyes. So I'm gonna be using like the feature products for this video, for like the new products I'm trying out today are the Bretman Rock by ColourPop Collection. I only got the wet collection. I didn't really care for the lit collection because I already have like reds and stuff. So I was like, it's fine. I don't need it today. But this blue stuff. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at it. Oh lord. It's gorgeous. I just wish there was like. I like how small and compact it is. But I just wish there was mirror and mirror. I mean I can always go to Michael's and get. Um, mirror cut for me. So I might just be. I just might be doing that. So I'm excited. Um, let me prime my eyes first. And to prime I'm going to be using the. 
ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 46. Where's my blending brush too? I like that the dope book carries a lot of product. And for my first color, I'm going to go into the shade, use it as a transition color. I'm going to go into the shade Iwa Beach. Iwa? I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So my next color I'm going to be using is I'm Chillin'. This blue right here. I'm going to take that same brush. The next brush I'll be taking is um, this angled fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the Morphe 15S Social Butterfly Palette and I'm going to be using the shade Hashtag Meme Girls. This one right here. Now taking the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush, I'm going to be going into the shade Indigo from the Morphe 39A Palette. Just to deepen the crease. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush again, the same one from before. I'm going to go into the shade Indigo again and add a dash of Muse from the Morphe 39A Palette. I'm going to use that to deepen the crease just a tad bit more. And then for my lid color, I'm going to be using the shade Mood, this very vibrant cobalt blue. I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Eye Shadow Brush. And then for the inner part of my eye, I'm going to go into the shade Thickums, this silver right here. So for liner, I finally got my hands on the Fenty Fly Liner. I'm excited. I really hope it works out. In my last video, y'all saw my straightest swing I've ever done in my entire life happened when I was drunk. So hopefully I can like reach into those powers when I'm like coherent, you know, and do it for this. <laughs> do it for this look this eye always turns out worse than this eye and I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I love it a lot that's a great wing can I do it for the other eye I don't know okay so my lashes are on we're gonna move on to concealer for concealer I won't be using a new one because every time I every time I try a new concealer on my face I feel like something goes wrong so we're not doing that today so my usual concealer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealers in the shades C13 and C15, yeah. And to blend that out, I'm going to be using my, mirror, uh, my body sponge from Real Techniques. To sweep away the powder, I'm going to be using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 60 Deep. And using this flat Kabuki brush just to sweep everything away. So taking an e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to be going into the shade Indigo from the Morphe 39A palette just to sweep that, stamp it under the lash line. Next, I'm going to take this It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Chillin' just to soften the under eye just a tad bit more. Next, I'm going to move on to blush. And for that, I'm going to be taking the, actually I need an inner corner highlight, but what am I going to use if I already used, you know what, I might just use that. I've never used a matte, I don't even know if this is a matte, but I've never used like, if it is, whatever. I've never used a matte in my inner crease, but I'm, in my inner corner, but I'm going to take the shade Finished from the Wet Palette, and I'm just going to place that in the inner corner of my eye. Since we already have such like a bright silver, I think this would be the perfect color just to kind of tone it down a bit. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Bretman Rock by ColourPop, obviously. Uh, Super Shock Cheap cheek Blush in the shade Stop It. I don't know how it's going to look on me. It's like, it's peachy in person. It's not brown. I don't know what color that is, but whatever. I'm just going to lightly apply that on the apples of my cheeks. See if it does anything. That's just a quick pause. If you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications of future uploads. Yeah, it kind of... 
I feel like it provides like a flushed look. It's not too pigmented. But that could be because I'm going with like a very light hand. But I like it. Yeah, I really like that blush. Um for highlight. I definitely won't be using this glitterly obsessed body glitter because that's a lot. I like it though. It is very pretty. I feel like if I were to do, I don't even know, it would be great for, because like, look, it, I could tie it in with my like eyeshadow because it's like silvers, blues, obviously because the wet collection, but it would be great for like Coachella or like a, any other music festival. But today I won't be using it. Cause I'm trying to provide a holiday look. You don't you don't really use chunky glitters on your body for holiday looks. So let's move on. For highlight, I'm gonna be taking this Neiman Marcus Illuminator. I'm not sure what I've had this for a very long time. There's no shade on it. I don't know, but it's like a soft champagne, if you will. I don't know, like an opal between an opal and a champagne. So I'm just gonna apply that just to create a sheen. And now we're moving on to lips. I'll be, tr I don't know, I've never used their, um, this is my first time using ColourPop's lippy pencils, like any of the, well it's not my first time using their lip products. I'm not really a fan of their, li uh, like their regular lipsticks from the, cause I tried out the brown sugar collection, wasn't a fan at all. So hopefully I like this, even though it's a pencil that I have to sharpen. I wish they had like the mechanical ones that just glide out when you twist it, but whatever, let's hope this goes well. This is not dark enough. You can't see anything. Yeah, I can't use this. Okay. That's fine. What shade is this? BFF number three. And this is the liner I hear a lot of people talk about, but it's not dark enough for me. So I'm going to be taking the um, so for Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Molasses, my usual, I'm just going to lightly line my lips. I'm not using this because it's not going to work. I have a feeling this isn't going to work. So the next lip product is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade She Cute. I feel like this is just way too bright for me. I don't know. yeah it's too light yeah so for so next i'm going to be taking the ultra glossy lip in the shade kumquat oh that's how it looks that's weird to me but um it smells so good All right, so this is the final look. I really like how it came out. You have a bold eye with a very subtle lip. Um, I would definitely use this for a holiday party because, you know, it's like very wintry, very whimsical, if you want. Um, I, my favorite products of like the new stuff that I've tried out is definitely the palette. Um, what else? The palette, love this eyeliner. I don't know why it took me so long to get it, but I got to um, pick up some more and um so the eyeliner the palette this gloss love this gloss um i wish this would have worked out but it's just way too light for me and yeah but with in regards to like the dip brow pomade i feel like i could have achieved the same thing with the eyebrow pencil but that's neither here or there so uh i mean it's good but i feel like the shape of the brow is because of me because I, instead of using like a razor I use like brow scissors instead so I don't know whatever but I really want to try this out I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that I don't know if it's gonna happen this year I'm gonna wait till festival season who knows F festival season who knows so really hope you guys enjoyed this look be sure to like comment share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye